Good morning. I am taking you with me on a snorkeling trip today. If you didn't know, Hogada is by the Red Sea. It's the place where Moses separated the water. But that's not why I'm going there. I'm hoping to see some nice fish. It's my first time snorkeling, first time in Egypt, first day in Egypt actually. I only landed last night. I'm running on like two hours sleep, but that's how we're coming. I'm just at the hotel right now. It's called Cordoba Suites or something. It's a tenor to stay here actually, so that's lit. So the company that I am doing this with is called uh, something. It's only costing 30 pounds. For the day trip and that includes everything they'll pick you up drop you back at the end of the day it's eight in the morning right now they said i'll be back here by like four o'clock so it's a day trip basically so i'm just gonna show you what that's gonna be like if you come to hogada you can consider doing this as well many many minutes later so after a small delay they finally picked me up and we're here now probably gonna be jumping on one of these boats I think there's gonna be loads of other people on the boat with us so no social distancing here boy so on this trip we are going to basically to the island just a little bit across the water which is the Giftun Island I don't know if you can see it in the distance so We'll be going there. They said there'll be two stops for the snorkeling, scuba diving optional. Apparently for tourists there's an entry fee for this island but the money I paid to them includes that ticket as well. So it's pretty cheap and the price also includes some lunch you'll have on the boat, okay? Apart from that, they'll also take pictures of you that you can buy later if you want to. So this is the scenes. didn't go as planned and the reason for that is because I can't really swim and it's also even harder with the camera in my hand obviously these things that you put on your feet help you but like with the camera in one hand I couldn't proper do it we're not at the island yet uh, I think we're going there now we're gonna have lunch now so I'll show you what the lunch is as well We need to jump on a smaller boat apparently because this one can't directly go to the island. So, uh, so arrived here now, Giftun Island, Orange Bay. This is the famous swing you see behind me. So we were told that we can just go and chill on our own now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you around this whole place so you can see what it's like. Let's go.
after two hours at the Giftun Island, before they bring you back, you have the chance to go on a banana sofa trip. I'm not doing it, but I'm gonna show you what that's like.